Hi, I'm Dr. Caroline Leaf and welcome to my podcast. Each week I focus on topics related to mental health and discuss ways to help you deal with issues like anxiety, depression, shame, guilt, PTSD and more. I've spent the last 30 years researching the mind-brain connection and mental health. I worked with patients who suffered from traumatic brain injuries, struggled with anxiety, battled with learning issues, and often worked with families to resolve major relationship and communication problems. In this podcast, you will hear the advice I gave to my patients and the techniques I developed and used to help them find healing. My goal is to give you simple, effective and practical tips and tools to help you take back control over your mental, emotional and physical health. Before I begin today's discussion, I want to take a moment to thank everyone who has supported this podcast, either by leaving a review, spreading the word, sharing episodes with friends and family and posting about this podcast on social media. I love reading your reviews and learning how I can make this podcast even more helpful. Hi, I'm Dominique. I'm Dr. Leaf's second oldest child and her podcast editor. Like many other millennials, I'm critical of a lot of things. But let me tell you, my mom's stuff really works. Not only has she helped me navigate some really ugly breakups and deal with depression, but her techniques and tools have helped my friends deal with the really tough parts of life. Recently, a friend of mine was struggling with an eating disorder and really intense anxiety. She started using my mom's app, Switch, and listening to a podcast and called me up recently crying, telling me for once in her life, she no longer feels like hiding away from everyone and she no longer struggles with intense panic attacks. This is just one of the many testimonies to the effectiveness of my mom's work and research. But all of this requires resources, clinical trials, research, app development, all of these are not cheap and we need your help. So if you believe in and have been benefited by my mom's work like I have, and want to help others around the world, then please, please donate today. You can donate now at drleafresearch.com. That's D-R-L-E-A-F as in Fred, research.com. The link will also be in the notes as well. Thank you. Now back to today's podcast. Today, we're going to discuss the importance of gut health and the gut-brain connection and how this relates to mental health and brain optimization. In the studio with me today, I have Wade from BioOptimizers to discuss the importance of enzymes and probiotics and to give us tips on how to boost our digestion to boost our brain and mental health. Wade, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm very excited to have this conversation and it's a very important conversation. So welcome and I'd love you to tell my audience about who you are and tell me about your company and your core philosophy and what makes you unique and different. Well, thanks. Uh, well, I don't know what makes me unique and different, but I was just kind of a kid growing up in Canada. At 15 years old, I had a couple of big events happen. My sister was diagnosed with cancer. I watched her go through the medical model, which had a big impact on me before she died at the age of 22 or four years. And that realized that Sorry. I realized right then, yeah, it's tough. But uh, what I learned from that was that your health and your life is not a guarantee. You better make the most out of your life. And in order to do that, you got to take care of your health. Uh, She had given me a bodybuilding magazine at the same time, and we had moved to a very rural place. And what that allowed me to do is to spend a lot of time thinking and a lot of time training. I was fascinated with building the body up externally, which led me to a career that went on to exercise physiology and then a successful bodybuilding champion and ended up at the Mr. Universe. And what was shocking about that is that uh, after the Mr. Universe contest, I gained 42 pounds of fat and water in 11 weeks and became Mr. Marshmallow. (laughs) <laughs> that was very funny. I read that in your on your website, how you went from Mr. Universe to Mr. Marshmallow. So, yeah. And so, so it was like, how is this possible? You know, I've got the best coach in the world. I've got all this discipline. I'm doing what I would follow, would say was a performance based diet. And yet I re- ended into this huge, di- you know, physical disaster. And, you know, it was depressing and it had affected my moods, affected my, it affected everything about my, I guess mm. what our, my identity is, you know, how we develop it. And then I had the good fortune of meeting a doctor uh, who had recovered from a variety of 
extreme conditions. And he told me something that had a lot of impact on me. And he said, Wade, you've learned to build the body from the outside in. You haven't learned to build the body from the inside out. Mm. And he told me that my performance based diet was deficient in a lot of things. Largely in part, it didn't take care of my digestive tract and that had massive implications. And so I went on a, a program with him where I got into enzymes and probiotics and a variety of different things to enhance my digestive health to rebuild myself from the inside out. And it worked and it was transformational. And then from there, I started teaching people in the athletic field the importance of this area. Nobody was talking about this 15 years ago. Mm. And uh, we had a lot of success, coached like I think it was 15,000 people worldwide. And then my business partner, who was also a personal trainer, we decided because what was happening, people were coming to us who weren't, say, from an athletic background or high performance sports. We were able to also address many of their areas by fixing their digestion. So we started a company that literally focuses on that fixing digestion. And we've been doing that. And we now help, you know, I think well over 50,000 people do just that. And it's a really great business to be in. And it makes a difference. And it kind of carries on from what we did as personal trainers. And uh, we really love it. That's amazing. So your company is called BioOptimizers and it's basically fixing people's digestion from the inside out. And you're so right. People are so um, aware of the outside in, but they don't always realize the importance of that, of, of getting the inside out process. And I see that you, you work around three principles, assimilation, nutrification and optimization. Can you talk us through that? Yeah. So basically what we discovered and what I've found is we make an assumption that if you put something in your mouth, that it actually gets converted into energy units or gets converted into building blocks. And that fundamental assumption, and it's pervasive even in the nutrition industry or exercise, pleasure, like, you know, most of the advice that people are getting don't mm -hmm. actually consider, hey, it's a single canal from mouth to your anus. And the reality is, is that food's in the tube and there is a distinct process that converts that food into these building blocks or energy units. And the reality is, um, you know, we look at today's medical industry, we've got 12% of emergency hospital visits now in the United States are due to gastrointestinal conditions. And about a third of the population suffers from some sort of digestive issue in day. So what happens is with modern food production, we have a problem assimilating our food and that leads to deficiencies of the nutrification component. And, and then finally, what we represent as a company is how do we optimize that assimilation process? How do we optimize the nutritional support process? And then finally, how do we take people beyond just recovering from a condition and kind of living a normal life into the optimal life? Like what's really possible for us for living long and living strong? And that's what we represent as a company. And we take people through that process and they get to kind of go as far as they want to go. That's incredible. So fascinating. And it's just so true with a modern American diet, people are just um, totally wrecking the way that their bodies function. And, and it's so true. People just think that, you know, I eat the food, I'll take a couple of, you know, vitamins and, and hopefully it's all going to be okay. But they don't realize that if your gut's not working, you're not going to get the nutrition you need. Let's talk about the gut biome and how a healthy gut can really help improve mental and brain health. And I don't think people realize that, you know, there's a lot of talk, as you know, people are more aware now of the gut, the gut biome and how we need to be more aware of probiotics. But a few 20 years ago, people, the only time you heard of probiotics was when someone was put on an antibiotic. Sometimes the doctors would give you a probiotic. But in terms of the gut biome, do people, do you find, can you explain a little bit about that? And do you find people are lacking in knowledge about this area? Well, we're just kind of entering into what I call the golden age of understanding the influence of the microbiome on a variety of systems going from immune system and brain health is a big one. If mm -hmm. you look at the statistics of the amount of people who are suffering from depression, it doesn't really make sense unless you understand the problem, I believe, is twofold. Number one, undigested proteins in particular um, being used by what I call bad bacteria or bacteria that are producing a variety of uh, you know, ke chemicals that aren't supporting your health. And then the inability to convert the foods that you eat into the polypeptide chains that allow you to have a proper neurochemistry. And the role of bacteria, it, it, for, for example, most of your neurotransmitters are a great deal of them are actually made in your gut. And mm -hmm. if your gut's off, all of a sudden you're not, you're waking up in the morning and you're feeling, you know, uh, a little bit depressed or a little bit down, or you are having difficult uh, concentrating or you're being diagnosed with a variety of different conditions and not to play a doctor here, but the reality is, is only recently have we went, oh, it's because of our digestion that our brains aren't working around. And you clean that up and I can tell you 
literally we've had, I, I don't even know the number, but it's hundreds, if not thousands of people who have reported improvements in their overall sense of well-being once they clean up their gut. And uh, and of course, I always have this philosophy, there's 10% good, 10% bad, 80% opportunists within the bacteria. There's literally hundreds of strains of bacteria and they all perform very specific functions. They're all directed into our nervous system and they are the gut-brain connection is very real for anybody that's experienced it. Absolutely. I can't agree with you more. I've also, uh, being in the mind uh, brain game, teaching people how to work with their mind. I've written books as well about the importance of think. I call it my one the book I wrote about food is Think and Eat Yourself Smart. And it's really um, a component. I totally agree with you. I talk about the gut brain connection. So I was really pleased to see that you focus on that because I do think, you know, you mentioned something right in the beginning, which I think is significant and relates to the gut microbiome. And that's that most, a lot of nutritionists aren't even, you know, fully aware of the whole process of assimilation and the whole, pro, you know, the whole link with the micro biome you know it's new and it's not really new it's ancient it's been around for years but it's really only becoming in vogue as you say it's the golden age that we're hitting now and in my field we see so many links between the gut the gut brain connection and links between the microbiome and, and issues with the mind and the brain and you know even things like autism and and all the various different as you say depression anxiety and you make a very good point as well about the fact that the most of our neurotransmitters are made in the gut. I mean, most people think serotonin is made in the brain, but up to 95% is made in the gut. So I'm very excited that you are focusing on that. That's fantastic. Can you give us some tips to improve digestion and the gut microbiome? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think there's three areas where people tend to get compromised, and that is not enough enzymes and particularly proteolytic enzymes and mm -hmm. uh, inside their diet because every other species on the planet eats their food in a raw state. Uh, you know, tigers eat zebras raw, you know, bears eat blueberries or salmon raw and, you know, horses eat grass raw. And inside of that, beyond the components of your food, you get the actual enzymes. Enzymes are the difference between the living and the dead. <laughs> yeah. The difference between mm -hmm. stones, plants and people is largely part of the enzymes and enzymes are required from thinking to blinking. And what I noticed is particularly in proteolytic enzymes, which are uh, essential for converting proteins, you know, we eat protein into amino acids and peptides and all these sort of things. And those are the things that we need for our brain chemistry. And so I, I find that for a lot of people, just adding a really high quality uh, proteolytic enzyme before their meals really can be helpful. There's a variety of different enzymes. Amylase is the big one for carbohydrates. Lipase is the biggest one for fats. And cellulase is for, you know, undigestible plant matter. And then there's a variety of those. So for example, like one of our products, Masszymes, we, we actually have 17 different enzymes in it. I particularly focus on proteolytic. Now, uh, the second piece I think is not enough hydrochloric acid, particularly as we uh, get older or because of chronic dehydration, that we don't produce enough hydrochloric acid, which is big in eliminating, you know, pathogenic bacteria or, or, or viruses or amoebas or whatever, whatever pathogens come in. And if you have a deficiency in that, oftentimes that will throw off your gut as well. Uh, it also changes the pH uh, as your food goes to kind of that second stage of digestion. And, and that those changes in pH are essential for turning on some enzymatic responses and turning off other enzymatic responses. And then the final phase that I think people need to recognize is what is the shape of their microbiome? Now, everybody's microbiome is going to be slightly different and it's changing all the time. And it's going to be relative to your diet that you're following. For example, my business partner is a keto guy and I'm a vegetarian. So, I mean, we're mm -hmm. about as far mm -hmm. apart mm -hmm. on the <laughs> spectrum as you can get. Absolutely. And and so what we we always look at is there's a couple of reasons why diet different diets work for different people. And number one is your genetics and epigenetics. Two is your microbiome. And those things are going to determine which foods are metabolized and utilized better for you. And then the final thing I would say um, for people to be mindful of is just watching how much uh, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, dyes, uh, plastic agents, and you know preservatives, which all have effect, as well as the uh, prolific use of medications like antibiotics, which all impact your digestion. So having a qualified professional to actually look at your microbiome, or you can do some testing, but uh, there's a lot of home tests and things like that. You can now do like biome and stuff like that, but really getting a professional in there to look at your microbiome and make adjustments on your diet and your probiotics so that you can optimize that which is what we're all about it by optimizers. And that will allow you to kind of live long and strong and, and really transform what's possible for your life. 
You've heard me talk numerous times about the importance of a healthy gut for your mental and brain health. One great way to boost your gut health is through bone broth. I love kettle and fire bone broth because not only do they offer many different options, but each one is so delicious and are packed with collagen, protein, and amino acids. Their bone broths are paleo-friendly, keto-friendly, Whole30 approved, and certified gluten-free. Get 15% off your order when you go to kettle and fire Dot com with the code Dr. Leaf, that is D R L E A F, at checkout. Brilliant. That's absolutely amazing. I love what you've just said. So, tip one was the enzymes, tip two is the hydrochloric acid, tip three, deal with your microbiome. And I love what you said about the diet changes that if it choices your people to have different diets because of basically who they are, if you're constantly changing your gut microbiome, your genetics, your epigenetics, etc., etc. And we've also got to then take into account, as you've just mentioned, all the exposure that we have to the chemicals and herbicides and medications and that kind of stuff. So we can't just take all that stuff and think it doesn't affect us. That's what you're basically saying. So how do you as a company, how does bio-optimizers, let's say someone now is listening to this and they want to get this get their life back on track the, what everything you've said is really you know it's it speaks to them about hey they definitely need to address this what can your company help someone do where would they start great question well first off i, I i'm really big on education so we have a 12-week course that we provide for everybody and uh, i'm going to we'll give it out at the end here it's free of charge for people and where we kind of go into each of these areas in depth where they can watch videos and learn about what they can do or how to assemble their uh, professional team they can learn about enzymes probiotics they can learn about hydrochloric acid, all these different things that we talk about among other lifestyle related things um, we can keep that easy that's first step step one Step two is, okay, you, if you're suffering from some sort of, you know, physical ailment and that what I would say is, let's say you're getting uh, acid reflux or heartburn and, you know, you, hydrochloric acid would probably be an answer. If you're finding that you're dealing with a lot of kind of down states or you're waking up with brain fog, these type of things, probably having a proteolytic issue, you probably do good on some adding some enzymes like mass signs before you eat. Or if you're suffering from like, say, um, gluten intolerance, gluten guardians, great. It's a special enzyme that actually breaks down the outer shell of uh, the, the the protein coating. It's called DPP4 uh, is and it's shown to break down the gluten. That's what people have the inflammatory response. And then if you're having issues, whether it's uh, going to the bathroom or you've, you're getting a lot of illnesses or sicknesses really quick, you catch every flu that goes by, then uh, the, L, the P3OM that we've developed, which is a patent probiotic strain. Now, some people say, you know what, I'm going to go the all in. I want to really get my gut. I've been suffering for a long time. I've been on the antibiotic program for years. Uh, we suggest doing a 90 day gut reset where you would combine all three products, do some dietary changes and integrations. And the results are quite stunning when people actually use all three in combination, clean themselves up, go all in for three months. And then you just kind of taper back into your lifestyle because it's much easier to stay on your dietary program when you've got all those things rocking and rolling. And if you're not very difficult to stay on, any diet because the bacteria are running your brain. Absolutely. Okay. So you said a 90 day, so step one is to do the course. Step two, which is a 12 week free course. Step two is to look at your basic um, issues, you know, the brain fog or the heartburn or the gluten intolerance issues or bathroom issues or catching all the illnesses and then to do a 90 day reset. So can you say more about that? What is your 90 day reset? And you mentioned three products. Is there, is there some sort of standard protocol that you would recommend people dive into? Yeah, we, we do. Yeah, we do have a where you it's really simple. We call it the one, two, three program, which is basically you take uh, uh, a few enzyme, a few mass enzymes before your meals. You take a capsule or two of hydrochloric acid after your meals. And then before you go to bed, you take our, our patented probiotic strain, which kind of goes through the whole system and, and, and cleans up the bad guys in your life. And it's really simple. And then you if you really want to go to the next level, you combine it with a diet that supports your lifestyle and uh, your goals. And um, you do that for 90 days. And I always say you do the higher the dosage of, say, enzymes and probiotics, particularly that you use in those those early, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, generally the faster the results you're going to get, because, you you know, you got to this state of conditioning from everything that's led you up to this point in your life, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, whatever it happens to be. You have to give yourself enough time to correct and your body will correct really fast if you, you know, you really go at it. And once you go through that um, and sometimes you can add what I found for a lot of people really benefit 
benefit is if they add uh, some enzymes like anywhere from three to five caps on an empty stomach twice a day, it seems to exert uh, a metabolic enzyme effect. So uh, healing, recovery, things like that. A lot of athletes do that to boost recovery, training capacity. Also to uh, eliminate those, you know, those early morning bad breath, brain fog kind of situations where people are just really cleans things up. And you do develop a new relationship with the bathroom. Uh, we do have another product that we use if people are suffering from constipation that we would add for a period of two weeks just to get things going. It's called ConstiCleanse. And, you know, that will that that also helps. It's something you'd only do for a couple of weeks. But uh, for some people that are suffering there, uh, that whole suite kind of takes care of everything. And then we also developed a new product, which is called Capex, which is a heavily lipase based product, which is for people who are following ketogenic diets or who have trouble metabolizing fats like people without gallbladders and things like that that's an amazing product and i actually take it because uh we've got a product a chemical in it called uh, it's not uh, an agent called seven keto dhea which is a mitochondrial booster which is res result for, of your uh improves your energy yeah we record yeah and it's it's it builds up inside the system so if you're suffering from low energy that's a great one or if you're on a ketogenic diet it or switching to, it's very good for reducing the keto flu and helping you get adapted much faster into ketogenic dietic practices. Excellent. Okay, I have two, two or three questions which I know that my listeners will have as well. You mentioned something about the three to five enzymes per day on an empty stomach. If you want to give yourself a sort of kind of boost, did I get that correct? Yeah, well, it, 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 one of the things that the benefits of, say, fasting, I believe, mm -hmm. come from you dietary requirements of your enzymatic, your body will produce enzymes, but it, it's huge metabolic cost. And what happens is when you people engage in fasting, the enzymatic production that they're making now gets diverted into rebuilding whatever organs or tissues or whatever, kind of like in a, a, a an in-demand kind of process. It's like your body has a list almost. That okay, okay, this yeah. one needs to work first. Mm -hmm. and that's brain, why brain takes first of everything all the time. <laughs> correct. And it goes kind of down the list. Mm -hmm. And so what we, I started this by fasting, by adding massive amounts of enzymes. And I've gone up to as many as a thousand a day to see if I could break the GI barrier, which it didn't, which is fascinating because most, wow. if you take any other supplement, you hit a certain tolerance, you get the runs and you don't do this with mass enzymes. So I thought that, or enzymes. And I thought, wow, that's really interesting. Uh, you do have a lot of energy, I would say. But uh, yeah. the interest, so by adding the enzymes on an empty stomach, I believe that they are converted into metabolic enzymes. And I've seen I've actually witnessed people, for example, with uh, huge scars on them all of a sudden start to go red and maybe itch by doing that. And over the course of six months, I've seen people with a half inch thick scar that they've had for decades uh, and maybe two or three inches long go right down to their skin level by following that uh, program, just adding five mass times twice a day to their body. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen for everybody, mm -hmm. but what it, what was evidence for me is, yes, they do exert a metabolic effect, which can accelerate healing and recovery inside the body. And that's been proven with athletes as well, um, who are recovering from, say, contusions or injuries from combat sports or violent injuries, that enzymes do actually speed the process because they're catalysts that speed up all metabolic processes. Oh, absolutely. That's brilliant. Excellent. Okay. And then you said that um, do you, if people go into this 90-day regimen, they may suffer from a little bit of constipation. So you have that other constipation, what did you call it, consti cleanse? Yeah. Yeah. And that would be the, something that they would initiate for the first couple weeks. And then, uh, you know, just to kind of get things moving. Because those first few weeks, oftentimes when you're engaging in one of these processes, there could be some, you might get a few skin rashes or you might have like, you know, a little detoxing. bit of mm -hmm. a bit of tea, detoxing and, and things like that. It might, you know, be bound up for a couple of days and then they're, you know, spending, like, you know, half the day on the, the toilet. So, Absolutely. you know, these are some of the, and you got to kind of push through that phase. That is part of the recovery process. It is part of the detoxification. And, uh, and then once you get past that, you start to see the benefits the first month, the second month you kind of, okay, well, there's definite changes, like maybe lower, less sleep and feeling more awake and alert or for longer periods of time. And then by the third month, most people are like, okay, I'm definitely operating at a different level. And that's awesome. Okay, so last last question that I have related to that, let's talk about this in relation to, and you've, you've thrown out a f quite a few statements about it already, but let's just talk about mental health and because uh, your mind and your brain are not the same thing and your mind works through your brain and your brain's got to be healthy for your mind to work and there's this feedback loop set up. So what you've talking about in the changes that happen over these 90 days are very significant in terms of mental health and you, you've mentioned increased energy, uh, better sleep, you mentioned decreased brain fog. Can you talk a little bit more about this program in relation to this wave, the, your bio-optimizer program in relation to mental health? 
Well, I'm going to give you a, a really great example. We have one of our friends who is 78 years old and um, he had suffered from depression all his life. He's been very successful. And uh, you know, he, you know, he was in and out of hospitals on medications. He had a very difficult time. We put him on this 90 day gut program and his transformation was so remarkable that he literally uh, ended up ended up about nine months later under his doctor's supervision going off his uh, depression medication. He started a new business. Wow. Uh, he, he got a new got in a new relationship. Here is a person that was struggling to get out of bed for years. Wow. And just by cleaning up his gut health can made this complete transformation. Now, we can't promise that for everybody. Mm-hmm, There's a variety obviously. of things. But that's the kind of benefits that we've seen over and over and over again. And even someone at that, you know, advanced age, that's how powerful uh, your body is when you get this in program. And the reason that is, is I'll give you the mechanism is people need enzymes to get your protein, protein to get your minerals and minerals to get your vitamins. So th- that's like an essential okay, role. Just say in that it. again, enzymes to get for the- to get your protein, protein mm-hmm. to get your minerals and minerals to get your vitamins. Mm-hmm. So people oftentimes will take vitamins and mineral supplements that they don't work. Well, that's because they're not able to convert their enzymes and protein in a way that will allow you to leverage those nutrients that you're taking, whether it's in your diet or whether it's in supplemental form. And so what it tends to do is when you are using enzymes and probiotics in a, you know, a a smart matter, in a strategic matter, it amplifies virtually everything else that you're doing in your dietary practice. And I would also say minimizes some of the uh, things that maybe aren't 100 percent in your diet. And that's the final phase. I guess this is the nutrification stage. By doing that and combining that with a a, a sensible diet with the right supplements, uh, you can go take these uh, a variety of tests to see which nutrients that are right for you. There's a variety of tests that you can do where they actually spin your blood and determine, Mm -hmm. well, you know, hey, you know, you got three different people that are taking 20 milligrams of zinc. Well, person one gets all of it. Person two gets none of it. And person three gets, you know, half of it. And by understanding this of your own body, you can determine, well, what is the exact amount of micronutrients I need or to deal with any deficiencies which could lead to complications down the road? That's the nutrification stage. And then finally, optimization is combining all of that and using what I call called targeted supplements or targeted um, lifestyle hacks, if you will, that will kind of give you the performance levels that you desire out of your life. Because once you correct everything, then your body's, you know, the, the, the natural question is, is like, well, how great can I be? You know, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, how, how good can I like, you know, the conversation can completely changes from being disempowered and struggling to like kicking butt and saying, well, what else can I do? That's generally what happens. And, and that's kind of the, the final stage of optimization, because I don't don't think as humans we've even come close to understanding of what we're really capable of and uh, that's the, that's the area that we're moving as our company in our direction and we're excited about that fantastic well that's incredible thank you Wade. you've given us so much information and, and very very important information and in just in closing is there anything else you'd like to share or discuss that we haven't yet covered just before we wrap up uh, no the only thing I will say is that if people want that course they can go to bioptimizers.com slash dr. leaf and they will get access it it's it's a 12 week course. Um, basically, it's five to 15 minute videos that are given to you every day. You can go through all of it in a weekend if you want, or you can span it out over six months. You can mix and match and choose to learn more about each one of those things. And if you do try to have our, any of our products, we have a special called Dr. Leaf. 20, you put that coupon code in, you get 20% off uh, of any products that we offer. And on top of that, we have a 365 day money back guarantee. If none of the, if the products didn't work for you, we give your money back. If you tried one of our products, found out it wasn't the right one for you, call our, uh, our, our agents, our customer support things, and we'll say, hey, you know what? Probably should have tried this one. We'll send you a free bottle so that you can try that and see if that works. And if that doesn't, we'll still give you your money back. So the bottom line is we reduce all the risks. We have a very well trained staff and I take all the complex questions that our staff can't handle directly so that we cover you from start to finish because if we can't fix your digestion then we feel that nobody else can either well, <laughs> and that's I want to take the risk away yeah that is fantastic well thank you so much for that that is really wonderful and I really appreciate you know all your information and, and input thank you so much Wade that's fantastic thanks for joining us today really appreciate it thank you thank you I hope you found today's podcast interesting and helpful. If you want more tips and help with managing anxiety, depression, and mental health, be sure to visit my website at drleaf.com and to sign up for my weekly newsletter, where I also include a schedule of my speaking events and so much more. 
and follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Just look for Dr. Caroline Leith. Also, I love seeing all your posts on social media about this podcast. I love seeing what resonates with you and what you've learned. So be sure to continue posting and tagging me and letting me know what you think and how these tips worked out for you. And don't forget, leave a review and keep spreading the word about this podcast. Thank you for joining me today. I really hope you learned something new and helpful. Till then, I'm Dr. Caroline Leaf.